Welcome to the overdue review of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In this review, I'll be covering a lot of ground, but remember, this is a 100% spoiler-free review, so you won't hear a lot of names, places, and other things that may spoil the game for you. So with that being said, let's dive right in. You wake up in a shrine called the Shrine of Resurrection, not remembering a single thing that had happened to you prior to your awakening. Pick up the device known as the Sheikah Slate and leave the shrine. Once outside, you will meet an elderly man who helps you learn some things you will find useful, and by completing his tasks, he gives you the glider you will so desperately need to progress. From here on out, you can do whatever you want, whether it's to go straight to Ganon and defeat him, do side quests or shrines, or do the four main dungeons known as the Divine Beasts, gain some useful powers for the final fight against Ganon. That's all I'm going to really cover in terms of the game itself, story-wise, because I don't want to dwell any further, otherwise you'll find yourself being spoiled. But this game has a lot to offer. The biggest part of this game is probably the amount of side quests and shrines all over Hyrule. You will find over 100 shrines to discover, a bunch of seeds to find that you can use to upgrade storage of your weapons, shields, and bows, and last but certainly not least, some really fun side quests that get you useful gear and loot. Now, keep in mind, all these things are optional, but if you decide to do only the main story-related quests, you'll find yourself beating the game far too fast, which leads me to the next part of this review. I spent a good 80 hours on this game. In fact, at least 72 hours of this game was literally side quests, shrines, and exploring. But if I was one of those players who only care for the story and dove right in without touching other aspects of the game, you could beat the game between 1 to 8 hours maximum. Which is why this is probably the shortest Zelda game I personally have ever played. Does that mean that this game sucks per se? No. Fuck no. This game is super fun. I played on the Wii U version without a single issue other than frame rate dipping. A lot of it. But even with the FPS drop, I still had a blast playing this game. This game can't really be compared to other Zelda games because, well... It's not like other Zelda games. This is what you would call a Zelda with the most freedom. In terms of what path you want to take, where you want to go, when you want to go. But if I was to compare it to any other Zelda, it would have to be Wind Waker for sure. I mean, I loved Wind Waker. It gave, it gave you a decent amount of freedom and had interesting art style. Which is why it's kind of similar to this game and can be somewhat compared to the Breath of the Wild. But... The difference is that this has a big open map to explore with a lot of secrets to find. And you can do it at your own pace when you want, wherever you want. This leads to the conclusion of it all. Is Zelda a good game? Is it worth the $80 Canadian or $60 American that you would spend to play this game on day one? Yes, it definitely is. This game is definitely not perfect, there are some problems with the FPS dropping, but that seems to be more of a case on the Wii U. I don't have a Switch, so the few Switch owners that are out there, lucky you, you don't have as much FPS drop. This game is a must-buy for Zelda or non-Zelda fans alike, but don't take my word for it. Try it yourself and see how much fun you can truly have scaling mountains, solving puzzles, hunting, killing, scavenging building, so on and so forth. There's so much more about this game than people don't even know. There's so many things they don't even explain to you that you find out just by going on the internet. You just go and you can find out how to use your shield as a surfboard, how to make things float in the air. It's crazy. There's so much activity in this game. But hey, that's just my opinion. As usual, thanks for watching and enjoy your weekend.